All right, we're starting to get her into the garage again using our come along with our floor anchor to the chain to the back bumper. I just wanted to show you where I was starting to get my hang up now, which I kind of expected. I am trying to get this car to come in at an angle since we've got the full garage open. Want to be able to actually walk around it, get it all the way in the garage so that the door closes, all that stuff. This is that tire that has the broken upper control arm. And as you can see, get in front of her here. She's about off the trailer. Um, it's been slowly working its way that way. So I'm just going to take the jack, go underneath the spring bucket here, lift up this side of the car, and hopefully she'll keep working her way. We've managed to clear the door so far, so I'm just going to keep on winching her in, come along on her in, and uh, see if we can't get her all the way into the garage. And just like that, she's in. She kind of decided she was going to do it on her own there at the end. Uh, fortunately, I had enough space over there to kind of stay out of the way. Um, she only hit this small block a little bit, not a real big deal. It's in the garage, that's what matters. Right there at the end, I had taken the jack because this tire was starting to fall off. And I had put it under here. And that gave the tire the ability to kind of readjust, so it rolled down kind of on its own. Um, once, once we put this thing up, you'll see, I and mean, this tire is going to flop all the way over. I mean, she's she's definitely not attached up there. But first thing, why don't we get the uh, why don't we get the hood off this thing so you guys can take a look, and we can all try and figure out why uh, why this old girl wasn't uh, wasn't exactly running real happy there at the end. Let's see if we can get the hood off of this thing and see if we can find any kind of damage in there. All right, so we got the hood off, and I haven't really found anything yet um, as far as something that may have kept this thing from running. Um, obviously, the fan's chewing up the radiator, so I'm going to pull that out quick. Uh, this radiator's junk anyway. Uh, we thought we had just a small leak. I patched it there before we went to the derby, and it was actually leaking out the bottom, too. So... Um, I thought I may have a broken motor mount, but everything still looks to be in place, which confuses me with the stamp. Oh, wow. That might not be helping, huh? That thing's not attached anymore. You guys can see the space right there. Um, I mean, clearly it hit this control arm. I'm just unless I'm under the impression that it broke down in here unless something else broke to where that flopped back and hit the hit the header there I mean it ripped it right off the block so that's a uh, that's interesting we'll have to do something about that but probably before we try to fire her up again um, just to get that header back on there I mean this control arm's got to come off anyway so we can get that fixed up and Hopefully get this old girl back to running happy. Got a little bit of a ding there too. 
that's a that's a fairly bad hit. She's uh she's pretty close to flat. I mean not completely, so I mean hopefully we're still getting some airflow through it. We'll have to take a look at that a little bit closer and see if this side just needs to be replaced before we take her to the next show. Um uh, assuming that this this motor does fire up then wants to run, wants to be happy, all that good stuff. Everything still seems to be attached. I probably shouldn't, but let's grab a battery and see if this thing will fire up. Alright, grabbed a battery to throw in her, so let's see what we get. Hmm, not much. Missing. Please hold. We'll be back with second attempt. Helps if you also hook up the power for the goose box. Now. Let her build up pressure. Let's see what we get. That was something, huh? Come on, baby. Show me you want to earn it. Ooh. She's sounding healthier and healthier. We're getting her for a little bit. Definitely sounds better than it did the day that we were trying to run it. Let's climb into this thing, see if maybe uh, working the throttle a little bit can keep her running. Pardon me while my fatness climbs into the car. Okay. Welcome to the cockpit of the Buick Electra. Let's try this again. I'd say she wants to run again. What do you guys think? Yeah, she's gonna run again. Uh, and she's gonna run again this year. Um, another Hollywood show. She is going to run at the same show. That the Mad Dog Trophy's running at. Which obviously we know we haven't told you that yet. So. That's as far as we're going to go for now. Um, actually, before we call this a video, why don't we make a trip out to the barn? Uh, get a little bit of an update on the collection and how things are going out there before we uh, call this one good. Alright, so aside from having the skin of a 12-year-old girl, I also have the memory of a goldfish. So, I didn't do the video at the barn to show you an update. I'll make sure that we get that done soon so you guys can see exactly 
you know, where everything's sitting at. Um, I've also got, we've got one car that we haven't showed you guys yet that I think you'll probably be excited for, but I don't want to show you that one yet because then I know at least one guy in particular is going to be asking me on every video when I'm going to work on it. So, <laughs> we're going to just leave that one sitting for now because I'm not quite sure where she's going to go. Um, I will tell you she's a full-size car. Um, so, we went out to the barn uh, to pick up the car that somebody says he's going to be running. Now, this somebody, in case you can't tell, is still clipped <laughs> and it's going to get worse. So uh, what's what's the update on uh, on the condition there, Mr. Mansfield? I get my cast on Friday. <laughs> so, he says he doesn't care, cast or not, he's still planning on running this beauty right here next Wednesday one week from today this time about about this about time. this time yeah we'll be this thing will be running so we can junk that's the plan if y'all don't remember we only did this I know we did kind of a slight walk around but we haven't really actually done a, a full walk around I don't believe on this car have we um, let's give it to him what the hell let's let's give a, a quick walk so this, this was is the V8. <laughs> V10, I'm sorry. It is not a V. It's a straight six. <laughs> it's a Jeep motor, basically, right? Yeah, it's AMC. Yeah, 1987 yeah. on this one, I believe. I believe this one yeah, was the AMC. Yeah. Now, this is an AMC Concorde. Yeah. This one is not the Eagle. What's the difference? There is only one difference. This one's two wheel drive, yep. it is rear wheel drive. Uh, the Eagle, which is the one that I have that is in the barn, is four-wheel drive. So it sits a little higher, but that's about the only other real difference. Suspension is a little bit different. Overall, take a look. She's pretty. Solid. It's a good-looking rig. It was built to a chain-and-go show um, where we actually weren't allowed to weld the doors. The show where it's going to now, you are allowed, but I mean... It's already taped shut and all that stuff, so I'm sure Adam will screw with it some, but that's just what he does. Um, the show that we were going to was stock bumpers only, or you could switch to any other, you know, tin style. Nothing. You can't put you can't put a bumper like that on it. Um, you know, it was just mid-sized well, type. Those my plans. <laughs> car bumpers. Now we are going to another Hollywood show where this is going to be going to a bone stock rules event but it does still allow um, you can use tubing as a bumper so I'm sure we'll probably end up swapping that out even though I'd really like to see how these aluminum bumpers hold up so we are gonna keep them just because if we do end up running a show that only allows other midsize I would like to run these um, I have heard good things that I have heard guys that have said that these are the strongest aluminum bumper that you will find so keep the back one yeah, the back one might stay on there, but the front one will probably be too bad. Um, for you guys that don't know much about AMC, I did not know much about AMC until we bought these cars. This is, uh, it's, she's rear wheel drive, leaf spring. She's not, uh, she's not too ugly, you know, I mean, it's, it's a fairly clean rig. Uh, should be a lot of fun. Um, only really big concern is, uh, she's probably going to be the biggest target out there. I mean, <laughs> everybody knows when a wagon's on the track, it's who it gets hit the most. So, more surface area. It's better for the guy that's got a cast. Um, yeah, I mean, overall, this is a pretty clean rig. Uh, definitely looking forward to it, being as this is one of now three AMC products that we have. Uh, she's been sitting for a while. We got out there, fired right up. She's happy. Um, she's a one wheel wonder. She was spinning like crazy on the grass out there. We couldn't get much for traction, being as we had to push around this one flat tire. But um, we'll fix the one wheel problem and. Uh, Probably get a video of doing that. Lord knows there's only about a gazillion how to weld the rear end posi on, on the internet, but people are still always asking, so what the hell, maybe we'll put one of those up too. Any other thoughts, Sir Adam? A few slight modifications over the weekend and this one will be good to go. Yeah, we don't really have a whole lot left to go on this one, guys, and she'll be, uh, she'll be all set. So, we'll get you as much footage on this one as we can. We appreciate you following along on the update today. As always, giggles.